Adding a stock symbol to GSB. In GSB you can add price data for a stock, index, commodity, ETF, CFD, currency or futures contract. Let's add a stock to GSB. And remember you can pause this video at any time if we are moving too quickly. Step 1. Open GSB. It takes a minute or so to open. In your trading software, be it TradeStation, NinjaTrader or Multicharts you will most likely have picked a stock or group of stocks you would like to build a system for. The first step is to add that stock to GSB, before you export the price data from your trading software. Step 2. Go to the top menu and select Tools, then select Contracts List. It's the second one down on the menu. Step 3. Once the contracts list opens, check to see if your stock is already set up. Step 4. If not, scroll down to the very bottom, then click in the bottom left-hand cell. Step 5. Type in the stock symbol. For example Apple Computer as AAPL. Step 6. In column 2, click the drop-down menu and pick STK for stock. In column 3 type in the exchange abbreviation the stock is listed on, then in column 4 type in the currency, for example USD. Step 7, this is where it gets tricky. Ready. In column 5 you put in the number of ticks that make up a full decimal place. For stocks it is easy, most stocks trade in 1 cent increments. There are 100 cents in $1 so for a stock type in 100 in column 5 ticks. Another example. If your stock is a penny stock and trades in 0.5 cents increments the number of ticks that makes up a full dollar would be 200. Getting confused? Don't worry, just type 100 into column 5 if you are setting up a stock, and stay away from the penny dreadfuls. Step 8. Under the point value column in column 6, for a stock type in 1, which means $1 per full point. Under column 7, digits type in 2 which means 2 decimal places. Step 9, the remaining columns are for advanced users, you can leave them blank if you wish. But, let's go through them anyway. In column 8 you can select SF indicator. SF stands for secondary filter. You can choose to compare the current closing price with the previous day's closing price or you can choose Genetic Algorithm, which scans all indicators for the best filter. In column 9 you can add the market hours for the exchange. For example the New York Stock Exchange would be 9.30 am to 4 pm described as 930 underscore 1600. The last bar column identifies the last bar in the day. This is important for day trading systems. For New York listed stocks, if your data is set to exchange time you would add 1600. If you were running your computer or server on local time you would add the time of the last bar in local time. For example, if your data was recorded in Chicago time you would set last bar at 1500. Finally in the notes column, you can make notes about the stock. Step 10. Adding other stocks. To add other stocks right-click on the row of the stock you just added and click Clone. Type in the new stock code and GSB will add the stock to the list. Step 11. Once you are finished, simply close the contract list window and select Yes to save. If you have any issues and need support, contact us at support at gsbpro.com. Happy testing!